All right, folks, the deck is Odd Warrior. The goal of the deck is to remove our opponent's stuff until they have no more stuff, and then figure out a way to win. Now, because all of the rifts have been recently buffed so that they're one mana, now that, <laughs> that's not true. Now, since many of the rifts were recently buffed so that they are all odd cost, we've got those to help in the early game, and then eventually work our way towards some combination of Lorthamar Theron, Black Rock and Roll, and a big Trench Stalker to blast our opponent in the face. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash ruffle, or here on YouTube. All right. Let's play some Hearthstone. Watch wow this wow wow. <laughs> well now you have to watch this. Uh, thank you, Benno. Wow. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have Baku in this deck. <laughs> uh yes, it looks like I do, thank God. Denathrias versus Tranda. Eternal rest, and neither will you. Let your penance be. Uh, Barov seems like it might be helpful against, um, like Big Priest or into Agro Priest as well, so I might as well hang on to it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I felt obligated to put Cobalt Sticky Finger in my deck, and that's not a good card. Ah, I see you. Survive. All right. Uh, first impression is that it's likely Big Priest. Stop playing wild, play standard. I mean, every time I stop playing wild and play standard, everybody says, stop playing standard and play wild. So, I'm just going to go ahead and play the format that uh, I want to. Look at that value. Ruffle, how did it do that you create a deck with only 29 cards? Uh, joke's on you. I've got 39 cards. Thank you. An ideal opener for me, but we do have the Lorthamar at least. Not entirely sure how that's meant to help me. Other than the ability to apply a lot of counter pressure. The flurry could be helpful. Like even this for uh dealing with some of the, the hands or something. Oh, good, maybe. Right. I'm getting a lot of good practice in pressing this button, which is an important skill to master when it comes to playing um, Odd Warrior. opponent has also mastered a very important skill in playing uh, Big Priest. Hey Ruffle, been watching you for around six months now. Started with your yog nonsense. And been loving the stream. Keep up the great content. 
Hey, thank you, Julian. Glad you're liking the content, and uh, thank you for that support. I think we just have to flurry this and then hope we survive for the, um, or hope they don't have a second copy effect. And then we do the Skipper bear off behind that. The Divine Shield is kind of annoying here, so. Kind of a wasteful with their resources here. GG next. I mean, the game isn't over yet. go bridge riff into coin uh, chorus riff next turn. And thank you. start getting my life total back up. I can go here, hero power, here next turn. I kind of want to play this, though. We'll see how things go. Oh, come on, team. Yeah, the reason I want to play this is in case they have a um, blood in hand. So help uh, clean up the board. Not the card I want to draw right now. Largely fine. For a master tactician, this is not. Just hold here for a turn. Next turn, I can potentially get some decent value off of the Trench Stalker. Absolutely unreal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's ludicrous. That they keep getting so... Unfathomably lucky. I don't have nearly enough minion types on this yet. Yeah, I, I mean, they just won the game off of getting absurdly lucky. Not really a whole lot that could be done there. Like... 
Resurrect is not a good card in that deck because it it has such a high failure rate, but not for the opponent. Just absolutely outrageous. Very frustrating the game one. Like the sword and board is worth keeping. I don't like. Okay, well I got it anyway. But like most good druid decks are not uh, aggressive. Two one and threes. I think it's like it was like because it compounds, right? So it was worse than just rolling two one and threes because I had three, or they had two additional copies of the hands from the um, geez, uh, from the mass res or the spell stone. Then on top of that, they had like like the number of hands compounds because for every Nephilim, there's two hands. Job's done. All right, uh, we've got big numbers. I just need to not die for a bit. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything to spend these on, right? Because the opponent doesn't play minions. Hey, welcome, buggy man. That'll be good after I get these down, if I if I'm still alive. You can't gain armor. That's my thing. Speaking of toxic, Lorthamar does some really broken stuff. Boy, how I wish that was a true statement. <laughs> if only that were the case. Neat. Probably just go sword and board into bridge rift next turn. The good thing about the bridge riff is it does give us a taunt. Look at that value, my god. I mean, if they do a goof with the guff, we can eat it, I guess. Broken stuff five turns too late. Yeah, and like, in what world is, are you able to play Lord Thamar, draw the cards that he buffs, and still not be dead? I'd like to live in that fantasy world. Wow. Wow. I know the perfect card for this deck. It is. Great suggestion. I will take that under advisement. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Shik. I'm gonna take this trade anyway, so. Best chat suggestion ever, yeah. Yeah, what would I do without uh, without suggestions such as that one? Double rake. Wait, that put the I put the guff in hand. Uh, they done goofed. 
Let's see if I can get lucky now. I feel like I deserve it after last game. Oh, that's why you don't leave quest rewards in your hand. And this is why you don't make fun of rips. Fantastic. All right, uh, it's actually getting close to time to play the Spinly though. Now that we have the uh, the double buff happening. Or I could just make a three mana ten ten here. My god. What have we done? Let me hear you make some noise! Armor! Armor! Lightly used armor! Scream for I told you gaining armor was my thing. <laughs> oh, we're both playing dumb cards. <laughs> Fantastic. Wait. But I want to draw cards. Do they think overdrawing matters? I sure don't. <laughs> a little bit better than a spider tank these days, isn't he? The time has come to dethrone our former master. I do say, I seem to have lost the surface. Jeez. Look at the size of that lad. I think it'll survive to get lethal here. Oh! Yeah, just hang out there. You've earned a break, buddy. <laughs> oh, fantastic. This is the fantasy world where it's toxic, this is bullying. Opponent playing the best deck in the format versus me playing a meme deck. This is not uh, also a typical occurrence. Everything had to go perfectly right for that to be even a reasonable play. <clears throat> Also, fortunately, they are playing a suboptimal version of the best deck in the format.
Why not spammy Arcanist? Uh, because I don't think it's a good card. You are welcome to add any card to this deck that you would like to. Set up for a nice chorus riff next turn. Yes, that was definitely the best deck in the format. I mean, it was a suboptimal build, but like, Questline Druid is the best deck in WoW right now. Preemptive hit here. The next turn is Coin Bridge Riff, but let's do that. Get a second copy of Skipper off of the uh, Voon on turn five. Yeah. Why would? Considered running ETC, you would run even cards that way. Uh, yeah, somebody's already made that joke. I'm sorry. necessarily get a second uh, skipper we might get a second uh, sticky finger which will i'm sure make chat very happy Haha! <laughs> 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 i love the fabled passage with finale yeah you wouldn't believe how common it is for some reason Let's take the green line here and get an extra Zilliax. Okay, good. We got the good card. Make the funny play just for you, Chip. I'll show you who's boss. Maste it now. Scream for me. <clears throat> I mean, we're so far ahead here that it it really doesn't matter a whole lot what we do. I've got such a health hefty life total, I've got back to back Zilliaxes. Actually, looking at this, is Zilliax even that good? Because we just immediately lose the Divine Shield on it. I think I'd probably just make a skipper line here. I'm 
has come. Bonk. Fantastic. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Hey, that frees up my Zoliac's turn. <laughs> uh, that said, I could also just like floor it the more. Yeah. Stick it out in the trenches here. Wonder if they wish they had a secret passage yet. Shame they never drew one. Yeah. If only, like. Guess we'll never know what that world could have been like. This was a gourmet meal. My juice is Oh. Easiest game of my life. Again. Let your penance begin. Okay. Wow. I see wow. Thank you, Curran, for the uh, very generous super chat. A lot of unused characters on there. Not getting your money's worth, but thank you. Although. Can you re really deny the value of a uh, good? Wow. Hey, congrats, Mary. When you get the diamond one, you can get the legend for sure. Oh. have multiple spinlies. It actually is fine just because it adds more cards to hand that go into deck. Please don't die. I don't I don't want to get shadow essenced. Thank you. One more turn. Not being dead. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> oh man, the way Brian said some things is just too much. I mean, this can help me deal with uh, hands at least. Super chats are really more about the characters you don't use. True. True, just like Jazz. Thank you. Wait, is so he not gonna finish that? Among us. Oh god! 
That was such a long delay. Uh, thank you, Kali. <laughs> I don't really want to play a Spinly on the off chance that I'm able to get a, um... A Lorithamar down next turn. It's ambitious. I also don't really want to give up a Flurry, which is an easy way to deal with some of the big stuff. I was about to take over for Brian there and do his job. Because I didn't think he was going to read it, and then he did. Just kind of waiting for the other Shadow Essence to drop here. Brian knew what to do? He sure did. He sure did. He's... You don't... Is that just a place? You win. Brian is a paid actor? <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't pay Brian. It's well established. Probably more likely to be Secret Mage than uh, Quest Mage at these ranks. None will survive. Ah, I see you brought guests. Yeah. It's fine. We're just gonna have to cold light them. Where's Brian's Union? Well, I, I streamed too many hours on Twitch last month, so Jeff Bezos personally busted uh, the Brian's Union. Bask in my radiance. Everyone knows Quest Mage is a very cerebral deck. That being said, I'm playing a button pressing simulator, so. Such a perfect specimen. They just happen to have a Aga in their deck. Probably needs to be the flurry just to avoid them like using the potion from the ETC on the ETC. That could be a little bit troublesome for me. Like I don't need to use the coin though. Yeah, that off the board. I don't like. I don't know. The bridge rift could have done something there, but it didn't feel great. I would love a Voon for this hand so that I can get more copies of Cold Light. But we'll see how it plays out.
consider using the coin. Yeah, that was kind of expected. Consider using the coin next turn, though. Just to get the bridge riff active. I could simply chow down on the raw map. moment. Makes the mutanus a little bit suspect there. We have plotted long enough. Now we run. Let's do the fun one. looking for him. Perfect. Those are, like, honestly, maybe the two perfect draws for me. <laughs> uh, you got too caught up in your previous uh, super chat, Kali. to burn a lot of cards now. It does make the Mutanus really bad. Oh, you built this for me? Good time to draw Loth up as well. My hand is too full. Uh, they did not burn the quest reward. It's right here. Probably their only reasonable play, that plus the, like the sword and board. Which could prevent a lethal, but lethal isn't really meaningful from my perspective. Still. Wait, they didn't play one of the spells? Could have played either of these, right? Alright. 
What do we think? Oh, right. The, the low type is still there. You're absolutely right. Okay. Wait, that's actually big. The end is close. It's not the raw math, but still pretty good. Of course, <laughs> my God. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Hopefully, it doesn't matter. But like having one on the board for multiple turns is going to be a bit of a bummer. Yeah, so they're going to start getting the ice blocks back. Maybe even the quest rewards. Which is like why the lethal damage doesn't really matter. There are a lot of ways that this could backfire still, though, because of the, uh... Um... Wait, are they even gonna have board space? They need to kill stuff off, right? Okay. Just leave it to the raw math, I guess. Hand space might be a common issue soon as well. Guaranteed. Well, that's a big, big risk. Sure about that, friend? Well, it's lost. Are you... Are you watching the same game as me? No, that's bad for them. Hit face, hit face, hit face. Their face. Uh, they don't get either of these back. And they both die. I feel like they really worked hard to punt this one. Punisher did not think too hard, yeah. Clearly they haven't watched the numerous, numerous videos of my opponents doing this exact thing and losing as a result. Well, 
Like, now what do you even do? Too many of the cards just add too many cards to your hand, right? Like, they can't play the raw math here. But now how do you win? They've got uh, 5, 6, 8, 11, 13 damage. Unity, precision, perfection. Fine, that doesn't really do anything. For oh no, that might get them the raw math back. <laughs> Someone get this opponent an MLB contract, cause they certainly know how to throw. Ah, uh, Look, they're just throwing spells out. With blatant disregard. Can't blame them for that. Yeah, I do need to deal with the... Benvala, though. need to find the second flurry, I guess. I can play the armor vendor, although now the solid alibi is in the bomb math pool, which presents problems. I mean, these are still going into the raw math pool, right? Like, by my calculations, you need to chill out. Bask in my radiance. Doctor Boom into Laser Bim, Hero Power, Easy Win. Except that doesn't win, nor does it end the game. So that would be a silly goose thing to do. And by extension, say. Good God, they just really, really hate the idea of their. Uh, surviving here. Opponent death by fatigue? Yep, that's... 
kind of been our plan the entire time if they didn't get uh, an early and successful enough raw math. And the big one to face. Not that that matters like, in the slightest. Duke should be solved now with Azara plus Ramath, right? Yeah, they might not even be able to play the Ramath. Just. Was that front? How did they? Oh, I just generated that way. My god. They also can't ever play that need for greed. Uh, that shouldn't matter too much. But probably still does want to die, right? I guess there's the uh, downside of playing the armor vendor, but they could also very easily generate yet another ice block here, although they have played an obscene number of uh, spells already. <laughs> Fantastic. I forgot about that. Well, that's a little bit concerning now, isn't it? Okay, they're just <laughs> out of their damn mind. Yes, we know for sure that there is one Rama somewhere that they shuffled with this Finley. Sure, why not? Wait. What if we do it this way? And then I have multiple chances at it. I'm a coward. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I mean, it could cost me the game, but it's hilarious. <laughs> It was going straight for the face, too. Oh my god. They really are out of their mind. In the best possible way. <laughs> Wait, no. These things are happening that are, are good now. Wait, I, I, I'm losing now. Stop it. Do something bad. Please, Lee, 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 let me into your house. <laughs> Not now, Brian. Oh my god, this is the best Yogg box I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, Ween, for the super chat. I'm dead. I can't believe it. <laughs> Alright, maybe the Trench Talker was a bit of a throw. <laughs> that It's unbelievable. How... <laughs> Thank you so much. How poorly they played this game and still won. 
<laughs> they were doing everything in their best. <laughs> Uh, to the best of their ability to lose. <laughs> uh, I... Oh my god. <laughs> Opponent clearly had a plan, yeah, just get bailed out. I suppose that's a decent plan. Like, they objectively threw that game. It's just... Denatria! What'd you get for not playing Brawl in Oddware? Okay, yeah. You're, the big brain has arrived. To make uh, terrible deck suggestions after... Or card suggestions after a single loss. Uh, I kind of like the value Voon has brought, even if I don't play him on curve. Ah, ah, I see you None will survive. Oh god. Oh, this is another near 100 to 0 matchup. A bummer. Oh my god! Did you really need to draw the nuts <laughs> in such a favored matchup? <laughs> uh, so they completed a stage at plus three health. I legitimately do not want to kill those uh, crystallizers, because that makes their raise dead. Outrageous. So, I'm just going to do my best to avoid doing so. to go for this line here. Wait, can you even win? I mean, it's technically possible, just very unlikely. That's why I said it was... I was exaggerating when I said it's 100 to 0, but it's like... 85, 15, 90, 10. It's a very, very unfavored matchup. Especially with the opener that they've gotten. And the opponent could always, like, make a mistake. Like, theoretically, I had no business having even a semblance of a chance against the quest mage, either. So I just need this opponent to make as many mistakes as the last. Hey, welcome, Cap. Okay, he's dead. For me. 
or if we just go face. What matchup would be good for this deck? Um, aggro, the ones that we've already been consistently winning against. off of this. Can punch and then play this to get a better chance at it. Me bear off. That doesn't look like a bear off to me. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. I uh, but I just kind of had the absolute nuts between the uh, the molten giants and the uh, crystallizers. My God. for an even shaman. Uh, they did in fact revert dark back to us. Even versus odd. The ultimate. I really hope they roll an idiot totem here just so they get a free trade. Come on. Showdown. Finally, a matchup where we don't have a 99% chance to lose against? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how Odd Warrior has always been. It's always had very polarized matchups, unfortunately. Sometimes it can use that to its advantage. Not necessarily so much right now. Hey, there's the idiot totem. You got a lot smarter, though. They all did. My god. That's very dumb, man. YouTube chat should get custom emotes like Twitch. That way we could have spammed idiot totem emote to ensure it turn one. I mean, they do if you become a member for as little as $1 per month. Neat. <laughs> really good time to draw that. I don't think I want to play this because the bridge ref looks so good next turn.
Blonde Goat. Well met. Thank Blonde you for the tier Goat one. became a tier one member. Appreciate that. Uh, hopefully we do in fact have the uh... oh, idiot totem emote right here. If not, I'll add it after the stream. There's a bit an issue here. That's a really good draw. We gotta need my rule, baby, bitch. It's getting a second copy of uh Off me. On me. The skipper is a really good thing. Totem. I'll try and remember to make sure I add it back to the stream. The Urgash became a tier one member. Z, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate that. Should get the bridge rift back. Many guns are in Hearthstone. I can only think of the hunter weapon that casts secrets. Uh, just check out uh, Lieutenant Eddie has a good video on that. Make sure to watch it after the stream, and not right now. Oh right, they still have those. Like this, at least. Oh god. here. What to do? What to do? Do try to keep yourselves alive! This is the second split in the
So we should have one more thing from below and one more Giga Totem as the two remaining threats. So good. I mean, Trench Stalker plus Alex is already closing in on. If it manages to go face. Might need to just. I can just blast the trench stalker. Right? Don't often die here. bad outcome they need 10 damage and if we don't die here they die so i think alex clear is better trench could go really badly uh i don't think that there's a really bad outcome for trench stalker even though we hit the two zero attack minions like, arguably, this could be considered the worst-case scenario, and it's still pretty good, isn't it? Like, we reduce the damage with the, uh, the totems. This sets up lethal. Whereas we have no way to close out the game if, uh... Oh, we lose. Made the play that gave me, in my estimation, the best chance at winning. It didn't work out. It does not mean it was wrong. I would have uh, very much... I, w I probably would have survived the turn, but I still would have lost the game because I would have no way to close out. So I needed to just survive that turn. I think it's just objectively very, 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 very wrong to have played the Alex there. Because they would have just made the same play, hit me in the face, and then I die on the backswing anyway. So I took the opening I had and didn't pay off. That's fine. This is, I think we've faced zero Kingsbane rogues. This is why this is not, like, tech cards are not a good thing to add to your deck. Unfortunately, we went back to queuing into matchups where we have a very, very poor chance of winning. I think we actually could have theoretically taken more because they were we killed what two totems. So we still would have taken the eight. <laughs> like, yeah, clearing clearing with the Alex was just a horrendously bad play. And so the more I think about it, the more, like, even with hindsight, mm, skewers, lies, we were just kind of dead to the same things. How to decide. Master, master. The time has come to throw our former 
More people play Sticky Finger than Kingsbane. I know, but I knew that if I didn't run at least one Sticky Finger in this deck, people were going to just nonstop tell me I need to add it to the deck. So I figured it was easier just to carry a bad card in my deck. Is it a good idea to have at least one tech card in ETC, or is that still a bad idea? I think it's a bad idea to add ETC to your deck most of the time. If your goal is winning games of Hearthstone. Or if your primary goal is winning games of Hearthstone. His is, is the Sticky Finger Obsession just a mash delu mass delusion, or does it literally have literally any merit at all? Uh, I don't think it's necessarily... <laughs> it's not mass delusion. It's um, just like how our, how memories work, right? Um, one second. It's easier to remember the times where Sticky Finger managed to steal the King's Bane weapon, they concede, and you win the game. It's really hard to think about and evaluate the times where Sticky Finger sat in your hand the entire game, like it's going to do here. Could have been a different card and, like, loses you percentage points as a result of that. Like, that's difficult to evaluate, and so people just don't even really consider that. They just think, it stole weapon, me win, good card. Are you a fan of the design of ETC? Yeah. I think ETC is, like, a great card to create, not necessarily to play in your deck, so I think it's interesting. Interesting card design. Just not particularly strong. It's generally not how that's meant to go. I think the only possible thing that could have been possible, the only thing that could have been possible with Alex is clearing the board is that they could have traded into the Alex. I mean, they're just as likely to trade into an 8 9 as they would an 8 8, right? What to do? What to do? I don't know. We've moved on. It's a different game now. Good day, Ruffle. Is it a good idea to add etc. if my goal is to lose? Uh, yeah, yeah. He helps you stay nice and loose. I hit legend thanks to your channel. I listen to your chat and do the exact opposite. <laughs> Congratulations, Stephen. Uh, I'm glad you're able to <laughs> you were able to push through and uh, find an optimal strategy. And thank you, Matt, for the super chat as well. Kingsbane isn't popular enough to warrant countering at all. I mean, it's pretty popular at certain ranks. It, it's becoming less popular because it's becoming less good. Really need a bear off here. I would like a million dollars, please. I'll show you who's boss. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Here's a million dollars, accurate to five orders of magnitude. <laughs> Thank you, Kali. For the million dollars, accurate to five more orders of magnitude. For surely saving me from 
die in here, right? No, nope, I needed another minion. Did not get it. Maybe this can save me next turn. Feels really bad to play the rifts without uh, getting value off of them. But I don't know, I need to limit the amount of potential damage they have. The thing is that, like, even if Kingsbane becomes popular, they're a lot more, a lot, a lot, a lot more successful strategies to counter it than uh, adding Sticky Finger to your deck. Can I please, can I please stop queuing into like 90-10 matchups? I would very much love to like have a matchup where I can have a chance. But like of all of the things, of all the strategies that supposedly counter Kingsbane, Sticky Finger is certainly one of the worst. Your penance begin. Look, this isn't smart, but I have the two cards that I want to play together, so I'm going to keep them and then just get completely obliterated by a pirate rug. Ah, ah, I see you brought guests. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Yeah. You say one of the better ones is a glacial shard. No. Uh shard just kind of delays the problem. Doesn't solve it. You shiny. Mech decks and quest line druid, in addition to just like hyper aggro, are the ways that you want to counter um Kingspin. See how much power they have on the board next turn. It might be a black rock and roll or just a flurry. Trust it's a flurry. The there be no There's no question about it. Sticky Finger is a great card if you play for the highlights and not the win. Yeah. The, the issue is, is that people unironically think it like counters King's Bane is. Which doesn't. Let's do this in the correct order. Because Kingsbane wants to be killing you or setting up lethal on turns 5 and 6, so if you, like, are playing Incredible. a Sticky Finger, it often will be too late. Uh, probably do have to kill that. Or just kill the whole board. Incredible. <laughs> uh, I mean, Sticky Finger is good for slower decks, right? Nope. Slower decks just die to Kingsbane. Sticky Finger is just not a good card. <laughs> to tell you. Alright, I should probably take the responsible line here, man. Incredible. 
It just offsets the weapon. Pretty incredible. But what if you want to play a slower deck and counter Kingsbane? Those two things are <laughs> antagonistic with one another. played any rifts yet? I haven't, have I? I'll show you who's boss! For a master tactician, Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Psychic Conjure is much better than Sticky Finger. That's not what you want to do. Take the cards from my hand. I have only... I have so few. One of them is Trench Stalker. I mean, pretty unlikely, but it would be funny if it is. Stream sniping? I think if they were stream sniping, they would have gone the correct line and taken the cards from hand. Saves me. I'll show you who's oh, the order goes, that's really not. I just keep losing. <laughs> to bad cards and good decks. The 
Sinatrias versus Gul'dan. And matchups where I just simply have no chance at winning. Let your penance begin. See, Sticky Finger lost you a game. Yeah, yeah, if Sticky Finger were a 5-mana 13-13, then we'd be having a different discussion. Raffle, don't worry, you will win one game, Raffle. Max... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm just... I can't tell you how ir irritating statements like that are. I've won many games. I went on a win streak at the beginning. There's no need to be a... You win <laughs> this time. So patronizing. If my goal was to win games, I would not be playing Odd Warrior. But my god. <laughs> Learn just like... The basics of versus emotional and social intelligence. I will light the way. Let your penance begin. I have not queued into this many big priests in a very, very long time. And that's so of course immediately when I queue up uh, a deck that has Next to no chance at winning it, that's ah, all I'm running into. I see you Could be helpful. Master, master. For me. Ruffle, what are some? Uh, what do you think? What deck should add etc? Most should probably not. I I don't know. Maybe certain even decks. I think even that has proven not to be good. Oh, this is not the hand that wants her prayer at Lorthamar, right? This is just not a hand. It really is what it comes down to. I kind of need a spinly for this. I haven't seen a palm reading yet, at least. as much as I like because of work so thanks for always having enjoyable content for me to watch hey thank you William appreciate the uh, the super chat and uh, glad you're enjoying the content it's okay in some Reno decks yeah but is it better than the other 20 or like is it good enough to be the 30th card in the deck usually no like the benefit of Reno is that you can sometimes add second copies of like key cards like um, Raise Dead, for instance, is pretty good in an ETC. Alright. Well, now that I've drawn most of my minions. <laughs> like, I've drawn so few spells, this isn't even online. 
Wait, they played an insight. Two insights. I haven't been paying attention. Fireworks? <laughs> I sure hope they do. Light be with you. Playing that Dane deck. I've never seen a pyrotechnician in my life. I guess I can't say that anymore. Because we did finally find a fun opponent, though. I just My hand is drew a pretty horrendously bad hand for it. Like, again, <laughs> this Ashara just sitting there doing nothing. Lovely. Tony Zinashari Priest. Is that really what it is? That seems really hard to do in Wild, doesn't it? Because, like, there are a lot of fire spells in Wild. Wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Like, that would be something that you could do in Standard pretty easily. Right? <laughs> oh, good. We drew a spell. This is unreal how bad this draw is. Oh my god. Fortunately, the opponent hasn't done anything yet, so <laughs> we're in a good spot, I suppose. But this is, like, pretty outrageous hand. Sorry, Ravel, rooting for the opponent on this one. I mean, to be fair, so are the Hearthstone gods. Like... Wait. with Reborn. I shouldn't have tried those things. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. We will feed on this world. Look, armor is for cowards. Hey, Ruffle, next time you will play Warrior, you should add Rotface just like the good old times. Thank you for the great content as always. <laughs> I appreciate that, uh, Shino. I'll see what I can do. Look, here's the best possible use case for Sticky Finger. Test for objection in rig fair game. Close it is. Right, I need card draw here, right? It's okay, they only need seven randomly generated pyroblastic gills. Now they only need four, so. Or three and a fireball, which is really quite simple when you think about it. That's not a fire spell. How did they get that? Oh. 
from a fire spell. Would they find objection from a pyrotech ruffle? Look, I didn't think it through. I don't know. They had whatever other, uh... They had a blizzard. Clearly anything is possible. And welcome, Swag. Alert. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> what? That's just silly. Right, that kind of is, too. That was certainly, certainly a game of Hearthstone. <laughs> 